Hi, I'm Lori with the ABCs of Movement. I want to share with you the why and the what behind the ABCs of Movement. Before I show you what the ABCs of Movement cards have on the front and the backs, I want to explain to you the why. The why is to give you the tools that you need to provide hands-on, multi-sensory learning experiences for young children. We have grown into a community where we have educational blogs, educational materials, videos to share, guides, activity plans, and ideas, all to promote active learning and movement. We focus on accelerating children's ability to learn through whole body active learning experiences. The fronts of the cards contain a picture of a child doing developmentally appropriate movement experiences, upper and lower case letters with stroke marks showing you how the letter is formed and the name of the activity. You can just use the fronts of the cards a variety of ways to help children learn while moving. However, the majority of the accelerated learning information is on the backs of the cards. The first direction on the backs of the cards says, say, a, 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 a. This is a type of phonological awareness and it helps children learn the alphabet easier. Children that are learning the alphabet learn the sounds that represent the letter before they learn the letter. So, for example, for the letter A, e, 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 is the sound that is represented by the letter A. The next direction is called trace the letter A. This is called sky writing, and this is wonderful for kinesthetic learners. When you sky write, we're going to do the uppercase letter. You get your pointer finger out, and you do a, a straight arm movement. Now, I realize that all children cannot do this 100% accurately, and that is fine, especially with younger children. I just want them to be able to isolate their pointer finger and realize that uppercase letters start at the top and go down. This is how we sky write the uppercase letter A. Start at the top, diagonal, diagonal, and across. Or if you have a set of cards, you can have a child trace it with their finger right on the card. The next two sentences are for more phonological awareness. There is a rhyming sentence and an alliteration sentence to reinforce each of the alphabet letters. The rhyming sentence for the letter A is march like an alligator to the waiter and do it sooner, not later. Rhyme play directs children's attention to the similarities and the differences in the sounds of the words. Alliteration sentences are sentences that start with the same first consonant sound. For example, angry alligators march in the alley. Did you hear all those eh, eh, eh sounds? An extension activity with this for older children would be, tell me some words that start with the sound. And they could say words like ant, apple, alligator. The next direction on the back is performance directions, how to actually alligator march. When alligator marching, you extend your arms out, and this is your alligator's mouth, and it opens and it closes by moving both hands apart and together. I'll turn it to the side so you can see. So you're going to open and close, open and close. Now with younger children, you might just do this while standing in place because it's difficult to actually march while you're opening and closing your arms. So I challenge you to have children march like this. If they can, they can march in place or they can march around their space. The next direction is modifications. 
Every one of the ABCs of Movement cards have modifications for children with special needs or for younger children. The modification for Alligator March is you can not necessarily have your arms out super straight. You could have your arms like this, an Alligator March, or you could clap your hands like this while Alligator Marching. If marching's too difficult, just walk. So this is a modification or this is a modification. Just have your children do their best. The last item on the card is motor component. I'm a physical therapist and I believe that motor development is the foundation for all learning. So I included five areas of motor development when I created the cards. Motor planning, bilateral coordination, crossing the midline, strength and balance. We don't have time to get into those today, but just know that Alligator March is a great activity for bilateral coordination, using both sides of the body together in a coordinated manner. Bilateral coordination is a very good um, component that children will need to build on when they're learning how to read and write. So that was the information that I included on the fronts and the backs of the cards and the why the ABCs of Movement was created.